Once Upon a Time. No, no, it wasn't Once Upon a Time. This story takes place in the Middle Ages, that's all. Oh, well. So this story takes place in the Middle Ages. That day, there was a great festival going on in the king's country. <laughs> Certainly, we mustn't miss that. Hooray! Hooray! I've won! I've won! <laughs> but you, sire, you have lost your bet, huh? You have lost, sire. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Ah, there's John. He's the one who'll be carrying my colours in the next joust. And who will this young boy have to face? John, he's got to fight the formidable Black Knight. Aha, here he comes. Sire, would you consent to bet with me? I'd like to put ten crowns on the Black Knight. Hmm? Agreed. Agreed. Where am I? Hooray! We got him, John! We got him! Well done! Victory! Hip hip! Hooray! William! Go to it, kid! Yippee, yippee, yippee! Tell me, sire, who is this. Oh, yes, of course, excuse me. But who is this funny little man? William, eh? Yes, he is a funny little man, eh? For example, he thinks that he's a... Um, that he's a musician and... Oh, no! And what's more, he sings! Noble lords and gentle ladies, heart to the moving and triumphal ballad, which celebrates the win of my friend, the gallant John. <coughs> Now you must all believe with a crash and a bang and a fall ree. Now you must all believe that into battle went John. That into battle went John. You really can get hurt with a crash and a bang and a fall ree. You really can get hurt if you fight in the old quintain. If you fight in the old quintain. With colors flying proud, with a crash and a bang and a fold to read. With colors flying proud, for me.
Sire. Sire, they tell me a merchant has arrived at the castle. Do you wish to see him? What? A merchant? Ah, yes, yes. Wait for me. I'm coming. No, 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 no. It's a Master William that I want to see. I have a few little things here that will interest him very, very, very they much. They tell me that you've got something to sell to William. Yes, sire. That is correct, sire. To William. Very good. Go and get him. At once. By the way, sir. But what on earth is this? Can you eat it? Oh, it would give you indigestion. <laughs> but wait, I'll show you. You won't believe your eyes when you behold these precious wonders. But I shan't keep you on tenter hooks a moment longer. Let's cut the chatter, the prattle, and the tittle tattle. Would you believe it's possible? Look at these splendid objects sacrificed at prices. At prices cheaper than any competitor. Like a this, for example. It's a harp from Ireland who sandboxes in cedar wood. Oh, but just listen to these melodious chords. And the sackbut, a most beautiful example, with such a pleasant sound. Mmm, superb. And this lute, which sings like an angel. And that, that, I've forgotten what you call it. But it sure make a lot of noise, yes? I also got the, uh, a hurdy-gurdy, a, a triangle, a, a, a flute. Ah, uh, you wretch! You fool! Don't you realize it's too much like this life we do our living? Get Hop out! It. Get going! Move! If I see you again, I'll kill you. If ever you're fool enough to come back with your filthy rubbish, I'll have you strung up! Phew, we had a narrow escape. I understand a merchant wants to see me. But where is this merchant? Well, uh, that is, uh... <coughs> exactly. I think he wanted to compliment you on your uh, musical gifts. But as he was in a great hurry, unfortunately, he had to go and... That's it. He's gone. Ah, pity. Well, a pity for him, that's for sure. I would have paid him my new word. I performed it last night, remember? And guess why it was so melodious? Um, uh... Because I attached new strings to my instrument. <laughs> and you, sir, what do you think of... Oh, sir, you have slipped. Have you hurt yourself? No, no, no. Wait, sir, I'll help you up. Go away, leave me alone. I don't want to get up. I'm very well as I am. But, sir, you're not really going to stay there, are you? On the floor? And tell me why not. But he's very, very comfortable on the ground. Yes, I tell you, very comfortable. I even think I'm going to have a little snooze. William, go and fetch me a royal cushion for my royal head. Immediately, sir. No, no, John, not you. I said William. William, you go. Me? But why me? Because I say so, I'm... Go on. Be quick. Hurry up, William. <laughs> Ooh, he's gone. Quick, help me to get up. You don't want to sleep anymore? Don't talk stupid. <laughs> Does one usually sleep on the floor? Yes, a little while ago, you said you wanted to... Yes, but that was a little while ago, not now. William was here. Hmm? Just look at what I was lying on. A flute. It must have fallen off that wretched merchant's cart. We must destroy it. Come, come. There's still a fire in my room. Let's make use of it. And what's more, eh, this flute is not very well made. Have you seen it? It's only got six holes. And there it goes. Good rip. Sire, come here. Come and see. Someone is making fun of me in this castle. The king's room is on fire! A fire in the king's room? Hold on, sire! 
I'm coming. But this is a jug of wine. Not much for the fire. <laughs> Feeling better, Your Majesty? <laughs> yes, done, sire. The fire is out. Ah, very good. Very good. Yippee! John, just look what I found in the ashes. A flute. Not the flute. Yes, it's a flute, but it isn't a flute like any other. It's only got six holes. Oh, how I'd like to know who the idiot was. The vandal who threw it into the fire. <coughs> Such a fine instrument. Oh, sorry, it must be dirty. William, William, hand me that flute immediately. <laughs> <sighs> It's no good. Are you sure it's the same flute I threw in the fire? Without any doubt. How come this flute didn't burn? I don't know. But, but why is the flute green? I don't know. I don't know either. It's witchcraft. I'm beginning to believe it. It's clean. Hmm. It looks fine. I must play it. <laughs> Fantastic! But I really must let everyone in the castle hear it. Then you slowly pour the fresh cream, and then after that, you. There's the Chancellor. Hello there, Mr. Chancellor. Look, I have found a flute. No, no, no. No, really. Listen carefully. I'm going to play you a little tune. Oh, yes, but just a very short tune, then. I'm, I'm in a very great hurry. OK. Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, no, 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 stop it. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Look here. Oh. How dare you clown around oh. while I'm playing? Oh. I can't understand it. I couldn't help. Oh. It's witchcraft. Witchcraft? Oh, yes, witchcraft. It's a stupid joke. All right, Mr. Chancellor. And yet, it would be marvellous if... Ah. Oh. oh, there's that old cat lady gripe. Let's try it out. Good day, Lady Gripe. Good day. I hear that you like dancing. Dancing? Oh, I wouldn't do it for anything in the world. Really? No! Goodness me, it's true. This flute really is magical. Do you realize what that means? A magical flute? Oh, stop it, you rascal! Stop it! I'm complaining to the king!
Hickman danced without being able to stop. You, Lady Gripe, you actually danced? Yes, sir. I danced. Jump! Oh, there he is again! Hey, jump! I'm off! <laughs> <laughs> She's quite fast for her age. Sire, John, the flute, it's magical. People begin to dance whenever I... Listen, William, your joking's gone on long enough. You don't believe me, eh? All right, I'll show you. <laughs> Do you believe me now? Admit that it really is fantastic, eh? You can see how much I'm going to enjoy myself. <laughs> lift, right, lift, right, lift, right. Gads, <laughs> seize that man. Who, me? But why? What's he done? Sir, this person has disturbed public order. He has thrown discredit upon the entire army by using a fiendish flute. He must be thrown into prison. Oh, yes? Well, come and get me. Sire, John, block up your ears. What's the flute done? What has happened to them? Are they dead? No, don't be alarmed, sire. They've simply fainted. They seem worn out. Worn out? Huh. But I only played a few notes. Yes, but with a magical flute. If I understand it correctly, if you listen to this flute for too long, you fall asleep. Hey, that's right. It's fantastic. No, this instrument is a terrible threat. It must be destroyed. William? William, hand me that flute immediately. I've got a musical instrument. I've got here a selection without equal. And at prices, at prices! Not defy all my competitors. Here, look at this horn. Just listen to its sweetness of tone. Yes. Haven't you got anything smaller? Si, si, of course. The flute! Here, here you are. I've got the very thing here. A flute, which is... Uh, uh, oh, well, no, I have lost it. Oh, it was a unique flute. With just a small defect, it only had six holes. But I do have a very beautiful drum. Hey there, landlord. OK, OK, I'm coming. You say you had a flute with six holes? Yes, yes, but I lost it. Where was I this morning? In the king's <laughs> castle. In the king's castle? Yes, I'm sure of it. But but I also got a horn and a very pretty drum. Landlord, and also... have my horse saddled. <laughs>
gentle lady with soft eyes, he my cry. I am hoping my love flies in the skies to thee. If you just would let me tell you how my love's been true all these long years. <laughs> Master William, that's me. My name is Orde Creep, Matthew Orde Creep. I liked your singing just now very much. Ah. I'm told you play many instruments. Very delightfully. Oh, yes. I've got a whole collection of them. Would you like to see them? Oh, very much. Who is that man who is leaving with William? A traveller. He asked if we could put him up, just for the night. Well, I can't say that I like the look of him. And I've also got some castanets and a wonderful Actually, violin. what I like is the flute. The flute? Ah, I have one. But it's not a flute like the others. It's only got six holes. Really? And when I play it, everyone begins to dance. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, yes. Come and look at it. It's in my room. And what did Papa Smurf say? He said we could smurf it in William's room. It's here. I can smurf it now. Oh, smurf. I can hear William smurfing. Let's smurf away. Here we are. Come in. You'll see. Hey, here it is. <laughs> and you say this flute will set anyone dancing who listens to it? <laughs> Come off it. It's true. Just you listen. Stop it. Stop it. Well, do you believe me now? It's really amazing. <coughs> Would you allow me to play it for a little bit? Uh, it's just, uh, uh, okay. But you must promise to stop the moment I ask you to. <laughs> it's a promise. Gentle lady at your loom, in my gloom, pity. Is this for your love? Stop that row! <laughs> Master William, I would ask you not to. Oh, what's happened? Oh, wait, I'll untie your bonds. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh. Ruffian! Thief! Rascal! Gallows bird! Dirty swindler! Knave! Bandit! Blackguard! Where are you hiding, scoundrel? Miserable brigand! I'll teach you a lesson! Ah, uh, you've let me such a dance! I'll make you dance too! At the end of a rope! You rascal! I'll cut you up in a slice! Mm -hmm. Sire, someone's stolen my flute! Oh, really? William, what's happening? This, this man, Oily Creep, he's stolen my flute! Oh, that's not too serious. But yes, this is a magic flute. And those who hear it are overwhelmed. This oily creep is a thief. And he will surely use the flute to rob people. Oh, dear me. But this is very, very serious. We must, we must find this oily creep. What are you waiting for?
We're there, John. We've found him. 1,502, 1,503. <laughs> oh, the thieves. One thousand. There he is! Bandit! Swindler! Robber! Let's go away! You... John and William! He's hopped it. We must catch up with him. It's not worth it, William. Not as long as he has that flute. We must find a way to break the magic spell. Oh, yes. But how? Let's see. Omnibus! The wizard, Omnibus! Of course. Let's go. What saith the wizard's book of spells? Grow, little plant. Grow. Go on. Go on. Do you want more? William have just arrived. Oh, what a nice surprise. Prepare us a good meal, Oliver. There's a good chap. Unfortunately not, my dear friends. I, I, I cannot help you. No one knows the secret of the flute with six holes. Mm, apart from the Smurfs, of course. The what? The Smurfs. The Smurfs? The Smurfs? What on earth is that? You don't know. They're the ones who make the flutes with six holes. Mm, um, we could uh, go and ask them to um, help us. That's impossible. Why is that? No one knows the road which leads to the land of the Smurfs. For sure, there is a way of getting there. But... But what? Well, we will try by hypnokinesis. By hip... Uh, hypno what? Hypnokinesis. It's a science which enables you to duplicate your personality and transfer it to another place. Sit down. Let's see. Uh, let's see. The uh, treaties on. Uh, no, 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 it's not that. No. Theorems of alchemy. No, 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 it's not that. Witchcraft in three easy lessons. No. William, no. don't touch anything. Yeah, it's got to be here somewhere. Oh, gilly, 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 gilly. <laughs> ah, there, I found it. Hypnokinesis. 
What are you going to do to us? Ooh, virtually nothing. You are simply going to be made to sleep. What, again? And you will wake up in the land of the Smurfs. Look at me, at me, into my eyes. Sleep, sleep, I want to sleep. If Omnibus didn't make a mistake, it must be the land of the Smurfs. Where are they all, these Smurfs? Hello! Where are you? Hey, just you watch where you Smurf, you Smurfs. Ooh. You nearly Ooh. Smurf for me. Ooh. What is it? Who's there? William, look over there. Well, if it isn't John and William, what could Smurf bring you here? It's a Smurf who'll be delighted to Smurf you. To what? Smurf along. Smurf me. I'll smurf you up to the village. What's he going on about? I think he said we should follow him. And all the Smurfs, they're going to smurf from smurf to smurf that I've smurfed you. Great Smurf, then I must be the mighty William. Shh! You are both most welcome, Yard. Good day, Papa Smurf. We have come to ask you. Where to find the focus? Let me look after it. Can you have a smurf? I don't know any people still have it. Ho, oh, oh, ho, be quiet. Go smurfing somewhere else. They really are too much. Just because they're a hundred years old, they think they're grown up. One <laughs> hundred? In that case, you. How old are you? I've had my 542nd birthday. Uh, <laughs> well, you don't look it. 
Come, I will show you around the village. We came to ask you. It's funny. You're all the same. How do you recognize each other? Yes, we're all alike, except in one way. They all look the same. They are the same. They are the same. So, how can it possibly be that each has a personality? This one's gone greedy. He eats all day long. Even as he eats, he'll join in the song. What a shirt that boy has, as you all can see. Oi, he can baba, that's my personality. Just look at those Smurfs. They're a very odd pair. A peasant and poet, but these two don't care. I blend words in rhyme. I do it all of the time. Nothing like me is a personality. This Smurf is so lazy, he always will shirk. Given half a chance, he'll never do his work. When ever I get the chance, as you will no doubt see, you won't catch me at work, no. It's my personality. When the handyman Smurf decides on construction, the clumsy Smurf helps but causes disruption. I have made this machine. All alone it was me. One hates to Smurf, but that's my personality. All of the Smurfs look the same, all look the same, all look the same. But you must find what quality makes every Smurf a personality. <laughs> Singing and dancing and singing some more means our festive Smurf will never be a bore. And very fun bit music and fun and jolly tea to Smurf and dress up as my personality. Although he's quite tough and really quite humpy, we do love the Smurf that we all call Grumpy. Well? I don't like personalities. He's a very clever chap about life and such, but our brainy Smurf often talks far too much. I should always Smurf the moral tale, by which a Smurf in the hand is worth two in the bush, and a rolling Smurf gathers no Smurf, and besides, is by Smurf in the future. The one to watch out for in our happy clan is the one that is known as the Smurf Strongman. I'm a happy enough Smurf, but please don't bother me, or I'll punch you on the Smurf, that's my personality. All of the Smurfs look the same, all look the same, all look the same. When you've traveled from near and from far, and you've met all the Smurfs that there are, you'll see why we're so popular. It's cause we have personality, 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 personality. But I was forgetting. You will have a little glass of raspberry liqueur, won't you? Oh, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> Do come in. Make yourself comfortable. Make yourself at home. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just a moment. <laughs> Here's to your health. Your health. Well, Papa Smurf, what we've come to ask you oh, is... Oh, there they are. They're back. Creep continues to loot into Smurf. We tried several times to Smurf the flute from him, but, but we just can't re-Smurf it. Keep on Smurfing and don't let him out of your Smurf. Right. Now, you were saying that what we have come to ask you is... If it's possible to stop the effect of the flute with six holes. Alas, no. What we could do is to build you another flute so that you could fight with Oily Creep on equal terms. Oh, yes, oh, yes, that's a great idea. That, oh, yes. Hear this, Smurfs. We're going to Smurf another flute. Yes, and afterwards we'll Smurf us as a little party. <laughs>
to me. It'll go a lot faster. It's a smurf, smurf, smurf. He's a smurf, smurf, smurf. One we smurf, two we smurf, three we smurf, smurf, smurf. La 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 smurf. La la smurf, smurf, smurf. La la la, la la la. What's happened? Look! The tree's been felled. They worked all night. Mm. And now what? Now, it's never says a little party. Now you look. It's the heart of the tree which is used to smurf the flute. Oh, the heart? Come now, to work. OK, can I give you a hand now? Oh, be like that. Hello, William. How's everything smurfing? It's smurfing. It's smurfing! John, I've got it! I understand! Oh, the language of the smurfs! It's easy! All you have to do is to replace the words with smurf or smurfing. Sure. Ah, but of course! Now you listen. I'm going to ask them for a glass of water. Little smurf, I would like to smurf. Hey, smurfing smurfs, you would like to smurf. To smurf? To smurf? To smurf. The other plot to smurf. Oh, smurfing it is a smurf. That's it, a smurf. I must have the smurf. A smurf? A smurf? A smurf. Me, I don't like the smurf. This is it, your smurf. What do you mean, my smurf? This is it, the smurf you asked us for. That's not my smurf. Oh, but yes, a smurf, a smurf, that you smurf when you want to smurf. No, listen to me. I wish to smurf, a smurf, a smurf. That's all I want. To smurf? A smurf. A smurfs? Me, I don't like smurfing. We went to some trouble, we managed to smurf. A smurf of smurfs that you asked us to smurf. Me, I never asked that thing in me, Bob. A smurf, a smurf, and it all like that. Look, 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 I'm smurfing here. A smurf of smurfs. No. But yes, just listen to them. I've got the smurf of smurfs. Not the smurf of smurfs. It is just a smurf I want. A smurf, a smurf, that I can smurf. A smurf? Two smurfs? Three smurfs? Me, I don't like three smurfs. Is it a smurf you really want? A smurf? A smurf, or again, a smurf. But no, I want... To smurf. We are really young people who are just so old because they're making up their minds. At least let's agree. If you want to smurf, so why didn't you ask for a smurf? But that's what I did. Well, you made a smurf to smurf. You got a smurf with a smurf and smurf. Oh. When you smurf, you must be quite right. Smurfing smurfs is not polite. I 
May I beg Michael and Smurfy? When you're speaking Smurf, all of Burps must agree. So you must get this heed, lest an house must be deceived. So please listen to me, it's a simple feat. You must Smurf every word, or you'll sound quite absurd. Oh, how often I've heard someone Smurf the wrong bird. Oh, Smurfs are quite good, but they'd really be shook. Oh, we just never would make ourselves understood. May I don't like Smurfy, my Smurf? What's his Smurf? I really can't tell you, but he Smurfed us all. Aren't you feeling well? Here you are. A Smurf on Smurf. No more Smurf! Here we are. The flute is ready. And now? And now, can we finally smurf it and have our little party? Oh, listen, we can't really deny them this little pleasure. They've worked so hard, haven't they? For sure. Yes, but let's get a move on. No, it can't be. Why on earth have you brought us back, for goodness sake? It's too early. It's that I was worried. It's been three days since. All was going so well. Ah, oh, the Smurfs were just about ready to give us another float. Quick, put us to sleep again. Yeah. Oh, well. Sit down again. Now look straight into my eyes. Into my eyes. It's useless. I cannot do it. I am extremely tired. Oh, no, you can't be. It's essential. You must return us to the Smurfs. At least try to send me back. No, me. Come. <laughs> All right, now. Look at me. Straight into my eyes. Into my eyes. Into my eyes. That's clever. You put him to sleep. Oliver! And all the while, the devil only knows where we can find oily creep. 5,432. 5,433. Aha! <laughs> There's the castle of that no good Mumford. Ah. 5,435, 5,436, 5,437. Listen, I'm telling you, I want the taxes raised again. Oh. My Lord Mumford, it's not possible. No, no, no. You'll bring ruin to your castle. The king might interfere and... I don't care. I need lots more money. Money? <laughs> Here, Sam. Here, you leave us, you rogue. Haven't I told you never to show your face here again? 
<laughs> Worried are you that I tell your people about all the looting we've done together? Shut up. Come this way. Well, I've come to put a proposition to you. I want to raise an army to invade the country and become master of the whole kingdom. But to wage war, you need a lot of cash. <laughs> I've got money. A lot. In fact, an awful lot. You there, bring in my trunks. <laughs> to command my army? Agreed. But we'll have to find some men. I just don't have enough. I know an island where you can pick up men who'll do anything for a few gold coins. Oh, yeah. Where's that? Take a look. The port of Tromanac is here. No, oh, yes. And my island is there. Oh, yes. No, I see. I intend, furthermore, to leave for Tromanac immediately. A ship awaits me there. In about ten days, I will be back and... Could you see? No, I couldn't. Quick, let's go to warn Papa Smith. Well, all's well. He's asleep. No, oh, John, William, oh, come quickly! Come here, here, uh, uh, outside. There are th 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 things. The th things. Goodness me! It's the Smurfs. Ah, oh, there you are. As you disappear, we thought we'd bring you the flu. Now you'll be able to Smurf that nasty Smurf. Royally creep! Hurrah! Does it work? Oh! 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 yes! It does work exceptionally well. Papa Smurf! He's Smurf! Who's Smurfing with Smurf? What's happened? Holy creep, he's going to smurf from Tromanite to go smurf some smurfs. What's he saying? Come on, it's simple. He's explaining that Oily Creep is off to Tromanac to keep himself warm by picking winkles. No, no. Oily Creep is sailing from Tromanac to go and recruit some mercenaries. Tromanac? Maybe we can still catch him. Come on, William. Come on, Smurfs! No, no. We're not all going there. I'm only taking a few volunteers. You, you, and you. What about us? What are we going to smell while you're away? We smell the little party, we smell the little party, we smell the little party, we smell the The last chest is aboard, Master Oily Creep. We're ready to sail now. There, that's his cart. But where is he? Hey! Have you seen the man who was driving this cart? A little fat man with an ugly face. A little fat man, you say? Yes. yes. With an ugly mug, eh? Yes. Yes. And he was driving that car there, yes? Yes, yes. Do you know where he is, for goodness sake? Ah, oh, yeah. That I do be knowing. He went aboard that boat, which is over there. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Yeah, yes, but they didn't tell nobody where they was going, eh? All is lost. Oily Creep has gone and no one knows where he's heading to. Yes, someone knows. His accomplice, the wicked Lord Mumford. Yes, we were there and he smirked him where he was going. On the map. But we couldn't smirk out where he was. 
because he had his back smirked to us and we couldn't smirk out what he was smirking. What did they say? Ah, oh, come, come, it's very clear. They're saying... Okay, that... you can explain later. Where is Lord Mumford's castle? It's Max. Have you imagined him? Yeah. I got a plan. I need ink, a pen and parchment. You, William, go and find the fisherman. Tell him to stand by to sail. <laughs> yes, what is it? A message, my lord. A message? Give me. Come and join me as quickly as you can. You know where. A fisherman will be waiting at Tromanac. Show him where to go. I'll explain everything. And it's signed, Matthew Oily Creep. Have my oars saddled. Hurry. Ah, there he is. He's coming. I am Lord Mumford. Your boat is ready? Oh, yes, my lord. Come aboard. Head towards the west. I'll show you where we have to go. I'm single. I'm going to die. Yes, yes, yes. What do you mean, yes, yes? All right, no, no. That's better. Ah, oh, I'm sick. Okay. Yes, all fine. It's your mum for there who doesn't look too happy. If only he knew who sent him his message. <laughs> I'm sick. Ooh. Come now. Be brave. Will Sean be smoking better? Of course. It'll soon go. And yet I smurfed him against eating herring with strawberries and smurfed cream and small onions and little bits of... Be careful. Oh, I'm sick. Oh. No, don't sit there. It's dangerous. Get up quickly. Go on, quick. Oh, I'm sick. Wait for me here. No, we're back by nightfall. Quick, William. We mustn't lose sight of him. Good luck. Listen. special bonus of 20,000 crowns when the men reach Mumford's castle. Right. Doily creep. Lord Mumford, what are you doing here? Where's he gone to? But I never wrote this letter. Then who did? The man with the boat. He'll know something about this. Come.
We're going to be able to return all this gold stolen by Oily Creep. Yes, and as for us, we have two flutes with six holes. One for me and one for you. Oh, ho, what fun we're going to have, eh? No, William. These flutes are far too dangerous. As soon as we return to the castle, we must return them to the Smurfs. Agreed? Oh, agreed. He's understood. Basically, he's a jolly good little chap. It's true. Where's he got to? Not so fast, kid. I haven't quite finished. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's the spitting image of the other one. Oh, just in time. Here it is, Papa Smurf. We can hand you back the two flutes. Here's one. And here's the other. You're doing the right thing. These flutes could have only brought you trouble. Ah, uh -huh. that's quite right. That's exactly what I said to John here. What? Now the time has come for us to return to the land of the Smurfs. Maybe we'll Smurf again one day. Who knows? Goodbye. <laughs> It's not true. I made a mistake. I gave them back the magic flute. Oh, no, 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 no. 